All right, Dad. Where do you put the blankets? Dad said we could go to Mount Baker this year. The trails are insane. Daniel destroyed our old nativity scene. Sorry, baby Jesus. How long is he gonna keep all this shit? Thank God I don't have to take one of Daniel's. I'm sure Dad won't miss one blanket for the night. Dad should just sell that other bike. Can't believe Dad actually asked me to tag up this wall. Well, of course, he asked Daniel too. That you, Choco Thief? Yeah. Yeah. Don't get too excited, kid. You're making me nervous. Hey, since you're creeping around up there, can you pass me the wrench in the top red drawer over there? Sure, can do. Um, there's no wrench here. Ah, shoot, must be somewhere else then. Take a look around. I know I left it nearby. It's a 16 millimeter reversible flex wrench. Jeez, that was definitely my plan for tonight. So, yeah. Hold on. Sam came by the garage today. Told me to tell you hi for him. How's this leg? Well, you know, old fossils like us don't heal the way you do. Hey, I got it. I think. Hmm. Wrong size. I need a 16 millimeter. Here you go. Nah. I need one with the black switch on it, so I can change its direction. Hey, did you get your English midterm back? Uh, yeah. I got a B. A B? But you were so confident about the essay you wrote. Yeah, I think Mrs. Callow is just prejudiced against Vonnegut. But Slaughterhouse-Five is amazing. Hey, you don't gotta tell me. Tell her. Next parent-teacher meeting? <laughs> She's getting a piece of my mind. <sighs> Prejudiced against Vonnegut. <sighs> hey, seriously, what's taking you so long? Hey, seriously, I'm not a mechanic. Come on, bring me anything, really. I'll tell you if it's the right one. Is that it? Yes, this is it. Took your time about it, but you did it. I'll make a grease monkey out of you. Yeah, yeah. All right, just let me tighten this. So, finally decided to come and join your old man under the hood, huh? <laughs> yeah, um, sure. I know it's not your thing, but you gotta learn a trade. Art, athletics, engineering, I don't care. As long as you put your heart into it. I'm trying. I just... Don't know what direction to go. You're only 16 years old. You've got time to figure it out. Trust me, it took me a while too. And you happy with it? I mean, your job, living here? Of course I am. We're doing great. Maybe one day when I retire, I'll go back to Mexico, to Puerto Lobos. But until then... Ugh, I've heard this one before. Hmm. I don't even know why I'm fixing you a sweet car for graduation. Ugh, oh, come on. It's wicked. I'm just not used to driving. You better get used to it, or you'll be taking your date to prom on the number 30 bus. Like I'm going on tons of dates. Not when Daniel's cock-blocking me the whole time. He's nine. He doesn't even know what cock-blocking is. He looks up to you, Sean. Try and help him. 
It's what family is for. Things are kind of scary out there in this country right now. Yeah. Oh, um, by the way. Ha, I was wondering how long it'd take. You need money for the party tonight, right? Ah, 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 ah. Shh. Just be honest with me. No bullshit. Are you using this money to buy alcohol? Weed? Uh, come on. I, I wouldn't spend money on booze. We just want to get some, uh, some Halloween crap and stuff. Well, then you definitely don't need the $40 I was going to give you. Twenty bucks? That's it? You can buy a lot of Halloween crap and stuff for twenty bucks. Unless you're lying your ass off. Remember, no eating candy and driving. You got it? Tell Lila too. You hear me? <sighs> yes, sir. Yeesh. Just be careful. That's all I'm asking for, okay? I know what kind of crazy shit kids can get into. When you were my age, did you party a lot? <laughs> Sorry. What happens in Mexico stays in Mexico. Now get out of here before I change my mind about that cash. And keep an eye on Daniel while you're home. Would you? All right. Thanks, Dad. Hey, hey, hey. Not so fast, Shawnee boy. Don't you think your papito deserves a hug? Ugh. Okay, have fun, but not too much. I won't. Promise. Bye. Love ya. I love you too, hijo. I bet Dad had a pretty wild teenagehood, even though he won't tell. Looks like I got everything. Better pack it all up. I would be fucked if I had to help Dad in the shop. Uh, uh, yeah, I tried to read that. Snooze. Dad loves all that political crap. Running the garage was Dad's dream. I'm proud of him, honestly. Dad's had this forever. I'm glad he doesn't make us go to church. The saw almost took my thumb off once. Damn. You can open a hardware store with all of this. Dad used to go see them all the time. Can old people be... cool? Dad is actually kind of a secret geek. Maybe a nerd. Okay, gotta go back to the living room and load the backpack. Finally, ready to go. Finally. Now I can Skype with Lila. Time to get this party started. Oh. 
Oh, lower boy. Just give me a minute. Gee, where did I put the... Mm, hold on. <sighs> okay, hi. Did you get everything on your hand list? It's all in my backpack, yeah. Dad hooked me up with some cash, so we're set for the night. In case we need anything else. Or if you and Jen need anything else. Ooh la la. <sighs> okay, serious talk. What are you gonna say to Jen tonight? Well, I don't know. Play it cool, talk about the gig last week, get to know her tastes. Oh, oh my god. You did rehearse your moves for tonight. You're totally into her. Duh. Why do you think I'm freaking out? She's so super cool. You're super cute. Just be yourself. That's why she's Sean. into you. Sean! I'm done, look! I made zombie blood. It's, um, corn syrup and food coloring. Hey. Hi, <sighs> Lila. Get out of my room, Daniel. I was just... Come on, man. Just the... Just bugging the uh, shit out of what? me again after I told you to knock? Uh, yeah, what? I know. <sighs> anyway. Sean, you're an asshole. What's your problem? <gasps> but... I want to see zombie blood if you don't. Sorry, sorry. I'll make it up to him. He knows I can be a dick. I'm just stressed out about tonight. Oh, please. We're gonna have so much fun. Maybe tonight's the night. Don't jinx me. Jinx? I'm your lucky charm, bitch. <laughs> okay. So when are you coming over? I just have to hit up the momster for the car keys and hope she doesn't make me lie too much about the party. I'm already in trouble from last time. This time, don't get caught. Let me see that drawing. This might be my masterpiece. Well, yeah. It's my portrait. Oh shit. Jen just posted her outfit for tonight. What? On her wall. You should check it up. It might get your attention. Not taking a look at her picture? I didn't mean to. Stop. <laughs> yes, Sean. That's totally fucking obnoxious. Whoa. Her hair. Whoa, indeed. I told you she was super into you, man. What's her profile picture got to do with me? Huh. You will see. <laughs> I see you, Sean. Should we set the wedding date now? Hey, come on. It's just a heart. I like her hair, okay? No big deal. Sure. <sighs> Why is Derek Anderson all over Jen's profile? Leave me alone! I'll call my dad! Hold on, okay? Something's going on outside. What do you mean? Hey! Look at my shirt, asshole! What's the big deal? It's Halloween! Uh, hey! Don't ever touch my brother! You hear me, Brett? Fuck you, Diaz. He got his fake blood shit all over my shirt! Look! I told you, it was an accident! You better leave us alone! Oh yeah, go hide in your dad's garage. Pussies. You think you own the block? Step back. He didn't mean it. He's a fucking kid. He's a fucking retard. What? What did you just say? You heard me, bitch. Don't ever touch him again. Or what? You're gonna get your daddy? Hey, asshole. I don't need him to protect me from you. Oh, you wanna go? Oh, yeah, <laughs> motherfucker? Then go back to your own country. 
Uh, Whoa! Sean, you hit him! Uh, get inside now! Sean! You're dead meat, bitch! <sighs> You're going to jail, losers! What? Oh, What's going fuck on? Me. Daniel, get over here! Sean, is he hurt? Okay, okay, step away. Now! Calm down, officer! Shut up! And step back! <laughs> on the ground! Now! Hey, wait! This guy was he started beating it. up my little on brother! Now! Hands! Behind your Sean. head! This is fucking bullshit! Oh no. Sean, what's Get happening? Out of the ground, sir. Dad! We didn't do Sean, anything! Sean, be quiet! I swear! Oh, Sean, Sean, listen. Oh. I'm sorry, Dad! Daddy! Be quiet! I wanna go home! They're good kids, officer. Don't move. I'm sure they didn't do I anything! I said don't move! We didn't Daniel, do anything! It's gonna be alright! On the ground! No, man. We can't stop here. We gotta keep going. No pouting, okay? Come on. But... But... My feet really hurt. They shoes suck. And we've been walking for four days. What? Only two. Don't even try that shit. And my back hurts from sleeping under that stupid bridge. Yeah, so does mine. I was there too. Just knock it off. I hate it when you act like this. This is how people camp in the woods. It's not like being... being at home or... or in your room. This is, uh... 
a real adventure, right? So, come on, let's hit the trail. Seriously. Where's Dad? Daniel, come on. We gotta go. Why isn't Dad with us, Sean? Doesn't he want to go camping too? Yes, but I told you that he can't. I told you, okay? Okay, but I am so sick of walking. I just wish I was back in my room. I know, I know. Hey, at least we don't have to go to school on Monday, right? Yeah. Look, um, everybody's gonna be so stoked when they find out how far you walked. Really? Really? I bet Dad would be too. Do you think we walked, like, maybe a hundred miles? Probably two hundred. Feels like it. Ooh, awesome pass. But next time, Dad better get me a good pair of shoes, like yours. Dude, a Bigfoot doesn't need good shoes. I'd rather be a wolf. Ow! We could be wolves. Yeah. Yeah, that, that works. Just work on that how. Hey, you know what? Let's see if you can walk the whole way without complaining once. Huh? Uh, like, you don't whine too? I don't whine. I... I... Tag your ass and no. run! You're it! No way! Not fair! Whatever. Okay. I'm a zombie, and I'm gonna eat you! Blah! Stop. You know what? You're not allowed to say that. Ever again. Yes, sir. You'll be the first one to know when we get there, okay? I'm tired and hungry, too. Listen. This looks like a perfect place to camp out. I bet we're not the first people to stay the night. It's creepy. There's nobody out here. We didn't even see any cars. We're gonna camp here. 
I'll look out for you. 